Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down in the corner. We still have a lot of Halloween content coming up and you don't want to miss it. Tonight we're here in Corona, California for Corona Haunt, which has been a 10 year tradition that keeps getting bigger every year. This year's Corona Haunt theme is Tales of Halloween, which are the tales that keep you up at night and are being brought to life in a horrifying maze. So come along with us on this episode of The, the Walker, Walker Chronicles. Chronicles. This event runs from 7 to 10 p.m. on select nights starting October 21st through October 31st. Corona Haunt is a free event, but donations are encouraged. No tickets or reservations are required to attend, but they do offer a fear pass, which can be purchased online for $8 and allows you to skip the line. We'll link all the details in the description box below. All right, here we are at the Corona Haunt, the Tales of Halloween. Goodness. <laughs> oh, wow. Ha, 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 ha. 
So we just finished up with the Corona haunt. <laughs> These home haunts, they're getting serious. Yeah, I will tell you, <laughs> it's amazing. The attention to detail of this haunt was second to none. There was excruciating detail. Yeah. When we were walking through that main hallway at the very beginning, you could see what looked like a pattern on the wall that I thought may have been like a wallpaper, like you'd see in the Haunted Mansion or something. So I brought it up to Mason, uh, the gentleman that puts this actually haunt on, and he actually told me that was a stencil. And they had to stencil that thing over and over <laughs> and over again, and it took them three full mm -hmm. days to do that. But that effect made that hallway look like you were in another location. Yeah. It was truly amazing. Besides everything being very detailed and polished, mm -hmm. what I really liked was that it wasn't just one theme. You had multiple themes throughout the maze. So you had the witch, you had that pumpkin area. The cemetery. The cemetery. You had a house that looked like the house from <laughs> Michael Myers yeah. from Halloween. It was very well done. And you, yeah. every time you left one environment and stepped into another, it really felt like you were in a different location. Yeah. Extremely well done. And I will tell you, detail is the key here. And of course, you had the jump scares, which were great. And each jump scare was themed to that particular zone. I mean, I will tell you, it was really a top notch. You can see that uh, Mason and Joe are huge fans <laughs> and they want to put on the best haunt that they can. And considering these are home haunts, it's it's unbelievable how well these things are being run and how they're able to utilize the space yeah they can you can go down one route and then they turn you around mm -hmm. and you don't even realize it because they've separated it off by partition mm -hmm. and you're headed in the other direction and it just makes the maze twice as long which is really impressive yeah knowing that this is somebody's driveway in their front yard is just amazing yeah. because you're walking through this environment and it feels like you're walking through for quite some time. It's just yeah. that, you know, you can see they're controlling the pace by what's happening, where the scare actors are. Just just extremely well done. I mean, definitely a theme park level attraction. Absolutely. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. So we really enjoyed this home haunt and we hope you enjoyed it as well. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of Halloween content still coming. So smash that subscribe button. <laughs> and until next time, we will see you on the next episode of The, the Walker, Walker Chronicles. Chronicles.